So today I'm flying the Flywoo Mr. Croc 6. So this is the six inch version of uh, the Mr. Croc range of quads. This is the HD, so this has got the DJI air unit. It's the full air unit there, you see. It's also got GPS on here, and uh, I'm hoping, hoping this will be quite good. So the first battery I'm gonna fly on this is the GNB 1550 milliamp. This is a 4S, but as you can see, that's quite small. Uh, I do have a 3000 milliamp hour 4S and that will fit just nicely. So uh, let's get the 1500 on first. So here we are taking off first time with this quad. It's okay, it feels just like any other quad. It doesn't feel as nippy as five inch quads that I've flown in the past but it has been some time since I've flown a quad. This is actually the first time I've flown a quad in many many months so I'm not actually a very good quad flyer I mean I can fly quads um, but I'm certainly not an expert and I wouldn't consider myself a so-called freestyle pilot. The main reason for this um, quad really is to get more of a cinematic footage feel to things. Um, I will potentially be putting a GoPro on here at some point in the future. Um, I just need to get the right balance um, for the for the battery. Uh, this battery is the 1550 milliamp hour and it didn't last very long at all. So um, I'm just coming along here doing some low flying near the trees. Again there's nothing exciting. I'm, I'm not a great pilot and I'm just getting to, getting to feel how this thing, uh, how, how it flies really. Um, yeah, it's a great place to fly. There's plenty of open spaces, but there are not many features around for you to kind of do any flips or spins or anything that's gonna look good in footage. Uh, and I don't think this is the kind of quad that you would use for that anyway. So yeah, just doing a little pass by here little spinny and I nearly stack it into the tall into the tall crops there I would have no chance of getting that back and uh, that was the end of the first battery so the first flight was uh, pretty quick um, I don't think a 1500 milliamp hour is going to be enough for this um, it's pretty power hungry probably the amps it's pulling through those bigger props so just for size comparison here is the Mr. Croc 6 on my Talon GT Rebel. Uh, yeah, it's a six inch, so I think this is meant to be some kind of hybrid between a five inch freestyle and a seven inch long range. Um, I'm not gonna be pushing it long range. I can't, not at this location, but um, should have some satellites now, so let's go. So taken off for the second time, the second flight of the day, and I had a little bit more confidence this time. I had a good feel for how the quad would react to my inputs and um, the guy walking his dog had gone now. So um, I was able to do a little bit more flying closer to myself. I mean, the guy just walked pretty close to me. Um, great place to fly, as you can see. It's a three kilometer long runway. I think it's three kilometers. Um, and uh, yeah, I have to say, Banggood sent me this uh, for a review. I don't really do reviews. Um, I do flight videos. So, you know, this, this is really what you're gonna get from me. Um, I tried flying it like I would fly one of my planes and that's how I'm gonna continue to fly quads I don't like to do tricks or anything um, simply because I'm not good enough um, but I do get a little bit um, yeah here we go uh, nice little nice little turn there I enjoyed that and um, I did come down through this through this pathway now these are actually quite tall they're about seven foot tall they don't look it from the footage, but they are tall. I'm walking through there on the way to the field. Um, it's quite creepy. But yeah, so um, thanks for watching the video. Um, if you liked it, click like. If you didn't, click unlike. And um, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll get some more videos up soon. Thanks for watching.